Welcome to the Millsurf Mike channel. A Millsurf channel called Readiness Reviews recently did a video on his five oldest Millsurfs. I thought it was a real interesting video and I'm going to steal his idea and show off my five oldest Millsurfs. After this video is over, since I'm stealing his idea, please watch his video. I'm going to put a link to that below. Also at the end of this video, I'm going to tag four other Millsurf channels that I'll be in real interested in seeing your five oldest Millsurfs. Without further ado, I'm gonna lay a little ground rules here. Uh, for To really count my list, I want it to be functional. I may not have the ammo for some of these, but if I did, I know that they would be functional. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and include a few honorable mentions in here. One that I know that definitely will never ever be functional is this Napoleonic era brown bess. The lock works just totally fused. The stock is all cracked and glued together. Since it is 200 years old, I figure I'd go ahead and mention it. Like I said, this is nothing more than a wall hanger. Another honorable mention is my German 1871 Mauser. The reason I'm putting this in the honorable mention and not on the list is that somebody did some fiddling on this barrel. It's not the normal 11 millimeter Mauser, it's some other caliber. And somebody, I don't know if they tried to put a sight on there or what, but they drilled a hole in there and they also tried to thread the inside of that. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. Until I know a little bit more about this, I'm, I'm not going to count this as part of my five oldest. If this was functional, it would definitely make the list though. Finally, another honorable mention. I don't know exactly when this was made, but this is a model 1879 Reich's revolver. If this was just a regular 1879 Reich's revolver, this would definitely be included in the list. But as you can see, there's two little triggers here, which makes that a double action. I did a short a while back where I showed the double action and how that worked with everything off of it. The reason that I think this is a little bit newer than the 1879 Reich's revolver is that this double trigger, double action didn't show up until the 1883 model. So I think that this was a private order. They wanted that double action, but they wanted the bigger revolver. I don't know why this is a huge honking piece of metal. And the 1883 is also, even though it's smaller, it's still a huge honking piece of metal. Another reason I think this is private is that there are no unit markings on there like there usually are on the Reich's revolvers. And my 1883 Reich's revolver has unit markings on it. So I think that this was made sometime between 1883 and 1896. So those are my honorable mentions. Let's get to my five oldest that I actually count. Like readiness reviews, I'm gonna go from my newest oldest to my oldest oldest. First off, we're gonna do this Winchester Hotchkiss. There were three variations of this made and this was made when the United States was toying with the idea of going to a repeating rifle. Uh, they were sh shooting the 4570 out of the trap door and this is actually holds, I believe, five rounds. You know, there's a little spring in there, and I'll try to maybe get some pictures on this. Uh, this was a Navy's trial, I believe, because it has the U.S. and anchor on it. I'll put a picture of that up here in a little bit. I do have a few questions on this. This looks closer to the last variation, but there was like a magazine cutoff, I believe, here, or magazine cutoff and safety that's supposed to be here that isn't here on this one. So I'm not sure if this has been fiddled with or if this was, you know, some subset of a variation. There's a guy who had at the KCI gun shows that has a whole bunch of these. And I need to talk to him a little bit more because he knows a little bit more about these because I haven't been able to find this in the book that I have on these. I do know that this is functional. This will eventually get a video in the future. My fourth oldest Millsurp will be my model 1873 French revolver, this Chamelot Delvin. It was made, this one was made in 1879. I obtained this after I did my series on French pistols. I believe I did that last year. My Medlin and Hong book has a chapter on that. So whenever I get some ammunition made up for it and I'm able to fire this, I will actually do a video on this. So this would be my fourth oldest mill serp. My third oldest mill serp would be my 1873 trapdoor. I also have a model 1884 trap door that I had talked about in the video that I got from Cabela's just because it had a real good price on it. It had the experimental metal ramrod bayonet. But there were several models of the trap door rifle. This would be the first one in 4570. Uh, the trap door rifles are basically conversions of the uh, Civil War muzzle loader, so you can uh, load them up breech loading. And you know this one has 4570. 
the original trap doors were in 5070 Allen conversions. You know, this is one of the older trap door rifles. This one was made in 1877. So this would be my third oldest, my second oldest, and now we're getting into muzzle loading territory would be my 1863 Colt contract. Uh, this would be a Civil War muzzle loading gun. Now this one does not have the ramrod on it. I actually do have a reproduction ramrod, but for some reason it won't go all the way down into here. So I need to figure out what's going on there. There, that's a little tight fit. This 1863 Colt contract, basically a copy of the Springfield rifle. There really isn't much different on it. These were used in the Civil War as more companies would be pressed to make rifles for service. My oldest mill serve is also a Civil War rifle. I believe that this one was probably used by the Confederacy. This is a Tower Enfield 1862. The British and French helped supply the South, at least for a while. If there was one more major victory the South had, British and French might have actually came in on the side of the South as the South provided cotton for their big textile industries. So this was made in 1862 or slightly after. So this is made right around the same time as the Colt contract. The North did also use these somewhat, but I think the uh, you know, the infields were basically used by the South quite a bit. So those are my five oldest mill serps with a couple honorable mentions in there. I said that I would tag four mill serp channels. Uh, first of all, me and my friend Danny from the mill serp world, I'd like to see your five oldest mill serps. Battlefield Curator, I know you got a pretty cool collection. Great Northwest Weaponry. And then and a wild card I'm going to throw out there, Tim from Military Arms Channel. I'd like to see your five oldest mill serps. I know that you probably have something crazy in there in that collection of yours. Please join the GOA, get 5% off with the link in the description. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.